This is DQ. This is his toolbox. He's got a Cornwell 7 drawer atomic orange flip top service cart. Attached to his main box is a Cornwell full size storage locker. And his main box is a Cornwell 76 inch Pro Series 15 drawer triple bank. He's also got a small Waterloo box on top for his work orders and service paperwork. Standard arrangement up top. I got my sockets. I got a bunch of axle nut sockets. This side I have a belt head screwdrivers. Nothing special over here. Got three pry bars. Keep my nice ones in that box because they don't fit in this one. More flathead screwdrivers. Got some overcompensating uh, deep sockets. Nice, dude. Those are huge. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. I know. The, the overcompensator. Who makes these? A uh, coin well. Are these, is this a 10 mil? Mm -hmm. Oh, 10, you got to keep eight. this safe. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. First drawer down. Ratchets, various extenders, uh, universals, um, got a little small low profile socket slash bit kit. Oh, yeah. I got some oil filter sockets. I have, you know, these two guys, these two lovely ladies. Can't do the job nowadays without them. They're just too handy. I uh, have this guy. I picked him up a few weeks ago. Uh, really nice. Really like having them. Small. Smaller than the Milwaukee's. Yeah. Um, I have the a half inch to three eighths extension oh, for handy. yeah for transmission bell housing bolts. Right. Big breaker bar that I, or ratchet that I've broken twice now. Hmm. Uh, maybe not recommend Cornwell because my coworker has a snap on one which I have not broken yet, and I've broken this one twice, like I said. All right. Um, and then I have a split beam snap on oh, yeah. torque wrench. I don't know where you got that. <laughs> Moving on, I have Pars drawers. Got a bunch of. Plastic clip panel poppers, hooks for coolant hoses and whatnot. A throwaway pair of side cuts that I use on literally anything. That I, I don't care about these, but they're really handy. Nice. They're nice and long. Oh yeah. Have the my nicer dice. Oh, those are the best. Uh, some Nipex or Knipex is yep, what they're. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I still call them Nipex because I don't yeah. care. I uh, got some big uh, novelty size Knipex. Got the adjustable wrench style. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. And they have two. The older style. Those are awesome. Um, some snap nice. ring pliers for wheel bearings for the most part. Nice. A s assortment of different needle nose pliers. Some smaller uh, needle nose pliers and dikes. Coolant, ho coolant hose, like cut off. Oh yeah. Very self-explanatory. Uh, a piece of a set of Milwaukee uh, log jaw pliers. Um, Got a good little crescent wrench or adjustable wrench. I've had this one for a long time. It's always just nice to have at least one. And a mirror, whatever. Just more miscellaneous. Wrench drawer, don't have all the best setup. I uh, have seven through uh, 27 uh, in different styles, different brands, different makes. Um, some ratching, some not, some broken. Like I think my 12 is perpetually broken, just can't ratch it. It's like yeah. a... It's like a Box wrench now. You just gotta hit it on the floor a few times. I, it doesn't. It, it, <laughs> it's, it's too far. It's right? gone. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite. Uh, is this pair. a genius set? Yep, yeah. This is the one you got me. Dude, those are so awesome. Yeah. I got a drawer with some hammers, some dual indexing pry bar. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. You get you can pry on anything. Articulate and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's so helpful. And I got two. One big one. One small one. So would you say most of your tools are Cornwell? Uh, probably not most of them. A good chunk of them are, yeah. though, for sure. Hook props, hammers, um, or a sledge, uh, and some dead blows. Nice. Uh, Snap-on. MG. Yep. Nice. I have a Cornwell die grinder. Oh, okay. Oh, snap-on torch. Oh, that's sweet. Nice. Yep. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah. Got an onyx. Yeah, yep. have the onyx still. It's broken on me once, but sometimes it's still super handy. Uh, it has more torque than a uh, electric gun in its class. Moving on, we have all my bits. Have some long torques from uh, eight to sixty. Uh, same. Uh, I have them mixed on rails because I bought these two sets together, but I still had a set of my old Pittsburgh ones, which uh -huh. still work to this day. I still like them. Some twelve point sockets. These are really uh, you kind of need them for uh, some uh, 
uh, drive shafts. Oh yeah. Uh, and also like a connecting rod caps. I uh, have some inverted torques. Got some extractors, some Matco extractors. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. I uh, got some uh, 12 point socket or uh, triple squares. Triple square. uh, deep. Uh, for all of your European needs. Mm -hmm. More triple squares, stubbies. Nice. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Allen or hex keys. Like a big. Oh, that's a beast right there. Yeah. This guy is same Allens, but just weird sizes. They're not really like in any specific order. Mm. They're kind of just like some throwaways that I have. I like the old metal cases. Same. Matco step or hyper step drill bits. These Whoa, are, those are, are cool. Yeah, these are really nice. Um, what's really cool about them is that these two rows are fully warrantyable. So, oh wow! And, and then these rows, I've had to replace one, uh, and they're not expensive at all. So oh, it's nice. definitely worth the worth the price. Uh, and they cut like crazy too. <laughs> Still really good. Got some universal sockets that I uh, I hammered on. I've only used a few of these, and yeah, you can see. Oh, yeah. Don't use the impact with them no. because <laughs> they don't like don't that a lot. Um, yeah, I think it's like I think I tried welding this one and oh, grinding yeah. it down to keep the pin in, nice. which I think I have to redo. Hmm. But what brand are those? Oh, these are gear rich. Gear rich. I bet they yeah. get warranty. Well, not I, now. Not yeah. after you welded. <laughs> <laughs> Got a rail of standard and metric uh, hex keys. Oh. oh, the money drawer. Good. We have the oh, money this drawer. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have a power probe kit. Snap on uh, bore scope. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Does cool. it like record and stuff? Uh, it takes pictures. It doesn't it record. Pictures. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got a snap on multimeter. Um, true RMS color display. Oh, I've had this for, oh. uh, I want to say like four years now. Nice. Hasn't given me too much problems. I have gotten dirt in that wheel. And so, like, I'll be measuring voltage and be like, oh, you're measuring temperature. <laughs> 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 have a battery tester. Nothing fancy. I believe it's a conductive battery tester. Nice. Can also check for uh, Ripple, Cornwell, Amp Clamp. Uh, if you're too lazy to do an actual parasitic draw test, you kind of just put that on the battery terminal and call it a day. Oh, nice. So that doesn't even have to, have to hook up to like a nope. BBOM or anything? Nope. It does have hookups for like, so you can measure voltage. Nice. And then we have a Snap-on V8 Triton uh, with the uh, two-channel scope. I okay. uh, need to get it updated because we are working on 2021s now. It's like, mm, yeah, yeah. And the updates are like, the update to get this up to date is like 1400 bucks. So I'm like, yeah. I'll wait on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my electric impacts. This guy, as you can hear, probably. Yeah. That bearing doesn't sound too happy. A little rough there. Yeah. Uh, this guy's newer, uh, stubbier version. Nice. Uh, I think it's even higher for it as well. Uh, brushless design. A few batteries got a little Milwaukee one, but uh, ever since I got the snap on this guy, uh -huh. I haven't had much reason to use this one. I'd okay. say the torque is this probably has more torque, but it's bulky. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a bigger, bigger guy. And then I have a drill, which every time I have to use it, I'm very sad about. <laughs> never happy. Uh, then I have a piston compressor. Hey guys, before we dig into the main box, just want to let you know, stick with me to the end, where DQ gets to pick a gift out of Old Blue. And potatoes. Big first drawer. Power Probe UK and soldering kit. Don't use for soldering, because if you're soldering, you're a loser. <laughs> um, this is a... Um, what is that? This is for uh, pressure testing, um, force induction systems. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> on diesels That's why and, I don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> on diesels and on um, smaller cars it goes even pretty low huh. really nice kit this cornwell sold this guy to me we got a tester um nice. i use this quite a bit especially for evap systems chassis ear i haven't used it too much take a microphone you clamp it onto a piece of the car you route this wire safely up into the car, nice. into this here box. Plug it in, switch over to the channel, plug in some very uncomfortable headphones, yeah. and you can listen for noises. 
Not bad kit. Let's so. keep them away from like drive shaft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Integral parking brakes. Yep. Nice. Snap ring pliers of Matco. Thinking of this. <laughs> nice. Master fuel pressure testing kit by Snap On. Oh, so nice. Uh, comes with a lot of attachments. Whoa. Anyway. Next row down, this guy, little welding mask. The plastic um, panel kit to mm -hmm. pop off panels and clips and all that kind of stuff. Nice. 20 piece axle rethreader because if you have to pound an axle out of the hub, you've likely oh, mushroomed it a little bit. Genius. Ooh. A wheel bearing kit. For doing oh that's nice wheel bearings um to press them out instead of having to go to the press you can use these and these get the job done oh, yeah. usually and the master tap and die kit Whoa. um and got some sockets that have square holes at the bottom and that Genius. is perfectly fit splines on and then you just take this off and then you put oh, it on the three instance right yeah okay. that's cool Next door down, a beam style torque wrench, a digital torque wrench with a torque to yield in it oh, nice. uh, for doing engines, a, an older gear wrench tooth ratchet. Got some random brushes that you can attach to the drill. Uh, got a fan clutch a removal tool, makes light work of most of them. And then a bearing separator, a bearing splitter. Nice. Um, yeah, this bearing splitter comes with like its own little uh, press out system. This guy is a fluid evacuator and tank and charge system. Oh, cool. Uh, this is my charge drawer. Oh, yeah. I have grinder, Milwaukee grinder, and a Milwaukee sawzall. Oh, okay. I'm like, huh? oh shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Two stream lights because. I lost this one for the longest time, so I had to buy another one, this green one, nice. and I found this guy. Oh, it's so like I winning just, the lottery. Yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, we have this drawer with a vacuum and some attachments for, uh, I'm not the kind of guy that wants to get a bunch of shit inside of an engine if I'm just doing a valve cover. Mm -hmm. uh, same for fuel pumps. Uh, I just had one the other day that I had to use this because it's the it was dirt caked all around oh, it. Oh, like you, leaves and stuff? Yeah, and you don't huh. want all that crap getting into the fuel yeah. pump. You'll cause more problems than you're fixing, so I have this for removing debris. Uh, accident sockets for the one that I don't have. They're all 12 point, which is uh, kind of nice because Volkswagens have a lot of 12 point axle nuts. Right. Variable spanner wrench, oh, such a good tool. Hold uh, pinion flanges with it, and camshaft actuators, camshaft gears. This is for the 1.4 liter Dodge Dart, the Fiat engine, uh, to hold the timing in place. And this is my junk. That's door. it right there. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta go for it. Uh, slide hammer kit comes with. You can do some seals, some bearings. Yeah, just a good little kit. Slide hammers do hurt the hand, so it oh, yeah. kind of sucks. Snap on, Ooh. ball joint set. It comes with these little snap rings that hook into the cups. So no more, or it cuts down on the amount of times you'll have your cup just come falling out. Yeah, no more balancing it. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Yeah. Uh, got heavy duty riveter. Yeah, that's super heavy duty. Yeah. What do you use that for? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got a rib nut kit, uh, which oh. is really nice. Really good design. It's on my wish list. Uh, so first things first, have a little Matco truck, race, and seal driver kit, pretty easily. This is a terminal crimping tool for. Whoa. Uh, yep. You crimp terminals like this style, not just butt connectors. 
that side. Uh, right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, has unlock tool for set connectors, and it has the Deutsch style Ooh. crimpers. Nice. Mm. nice. Oil pressure tester kit um, to do transmission fluid and uh, engine oil. Just has two different pressure gauges. Uh, what they don't tell you about these things have to be clean after use. Oh, really? It's like oil all in this oh, line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> you think you got? You, if you think you got it clean, give it some more time because holy yeah. cow! This, I opened this up after a while and like that stickiness is just uh -huh. like oil. Oh. Like they had just slowly oozed out. Yeah. Tester kit by Mapco. Nice. Pretty nice kit. Has this guy, which is super nice. It just feels really nice. You can yeah. get like a good feel. You don't won't cross thread it. Yeah. That's a sweet setup. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh, cylinder leak down tester. It doesn't have its own bit, so I have to use the uh, connectors for from the compression tester on this, but this is old school. Uh, this is also from a motorcycle. Carburetor synchronizer. You hook it up to carburetor system so you can sync up how much vacuum they're all pulling it's just for tuning purposes pretty much oh, yeah. um i have a gear wrench serpentine belt tensioner remover 19 keys pushing driver set <laughs> also matka i see a master um fuel pressure fuel disconnect set mm. by matka but yeah uh, pretty pretty extensive kit nice Really, you only need this blue one. You, <laughs> you only need this guy. This is like literally every single one I've ever used. It's just this guy. Uh, but you have these uh, other ones for looks. Yeah. I have a dial indicator. I use this for testing backlash on differentials hmm. and also run out on rudders. <laughs> this is for extracting lug nuts. Oh, nice. Yeah, I found them on. Uh, small actual grinder, uh, nine degree. Oh, nice! Like uh, a cutoff wheel kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Nice air hammer, the goat OG best tool in the box uh, with a bunch of bits in the back. Uh, this is for mostly used for uh, setting pilot pilot holes, but you can just put on something. A uh, bunch of just a bunch of Matco files. Oh, dude, those good. look like they come in handy. Yeah. We have press kits. We have three jaw presses with different attachments. A big um, bearing splitter. I use this for tie rods a lot too. Oh, that was scary as shit. Yeah, I love that. Like nowadays, go I put, boom! yeah, I, I'll put it on there, put my gun off to the side, and just go for it. <laughs> like, like what you got? <laughs> I remember this. I take a pitman on and went flying, hit oh, in the head. God. Yeah. So I was like up in the flake thing, and you have the. The, the drag link right in front of you. Oh, yeah. And I kind of just had like a right. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't do that. I'd yeah. be like covering my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> if you think your lips are going to save you, <laughs> there's no shot. Little guy for a windshield wiper arm. Oh. It doesn't fucking work. Just use your hands. Oh. Just give it the old yeah. push give down, push. Yeah. <laughs> Don't use this. This doesn't work. <laughs> this is for um, power string pump, oh, yeah. pulley remover, and installer tool. For Rams and Chrysler's. Uh, pull it for that. Mm -hmm. Need those rods. Right. Yep. <laughs> Mat for your knees. Oof. Uh, a vacuum brake bleeder. Nice. Grease gun because things need greasing. Mm -hmm. and these are two pry bars of my nice pry bars that I don't ever use. Oh, look at that bad boy. Big, Dude. big jump. Um, yeah, big snap on jump box. Ooh. Coolant system pressure tester Ooh. and refiller. It's like a deluxe. Yeah. Who makes that kit? Oh, uh, this is Matco. Matco huh. made this kit. 27 piece. Yep. And that's. Pretty much everything. Nice. All right, guys, it's time for Old Blue. So every toolbox owner that gives me a tour, they get a tool out of Old Blue. Let's see what he gets. While DQ goes and picks a gift out for himself, I just want to give him a very special thank you for letting us go through all of his tools and his toolbox. And I also want to thank you for watching this video. 
If you did enjoy it, hit that like button. It does help this channel get in front of people who enjoy looking at toolboxes and tools. So um, yeah, let's see what he gets. All right, what'd you grab? Uh, jump starter. Nice. How did you gonna have this in my car, just in case of emergencies? Oh yeah. Yeah. We're just talking about that. Okay. Nice. Jump starter. Mm -hmm. 